Wait, look. Right here, got my hand. Whoa, your eyes are super pretty. Look at my, yeah. I think we need to do something better for our like, hello. Okay. What should it be? Let's do like old school voicemails. Hi, this is the G family. Oh no, that's the worst. What should we do? Just more calm, like cool, like, oh, we don't even care, like, hey, hey. what's up? How's it going? We're in Tonga. Um, okay, no, just, just do it good. Go, here it's on you. Good morning from Tonga. Yeah, we're on the small island of Vava'u. We are in... Tonga, the Ooh. kingdom of Tonga. Bless. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We are on the small island of Vava'u, and we've been here almost 20 days. Our longest stop, which is really... Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We've been here for about 20 days, which is our longest stop so far. Really cool. Feels more like we're living here and that's like a vacation. So we're basically Tongans now. We are Tongans. Mm -hmm. We love the Tongans. They're the kindest people. So nice. But we've had a lot of fun. Every morning we wake up about 5 a.m. Garrett and I run about two miles to the gym, which is awesome. Yeah, it's on this like these small dirt roads with chickens, dogs, Pigs. cows. They're kind of they kind of startle you. Well, we run usually before the sun comes up, and so yeah, there's all sorts of weird sounds going on out there. Oh, and Tonga has bats. I've never seen bats in the wild before, and we saw these, what we thought were giant fruits or leaves hanging from the trees. Bats. Big bats. Mm -hmm. And snakes. Even though Tongans will tell you, there are no snakes. There's for sure snakes. There's a snake at least. Okay, there's one snake in Tonga. At least. Uh -huh. So we do our run, do our and run. then we, we go to the gym. Coolest gym ever. The small concrete wall warehouse that is just chains and heavy weights of metal and leather and <laughs> tough materials. It's cool. Um, and then we go out to the dock and we wait for our boat to come pick us up to go look for the whales. Yeah. And so we're here at the marina. We're about to go whale watching, which is the main thing that brought us to Tonga. Um, it is an incredible experience. The whole process is very special where they'll pick us up on a boat, two local Tongans, and they'll take us out into the deep blue waters of Tonga and we'll, we'll look for a whale splash, a tail, a spout, and um, it doesn't come quick. Usually it takes like two to three hours before we see a whale. Um, so it definitely takes a lot of patience. And then once we see a whale, will slowly approach it. They're very, very respectful. And you can tell that from this whole process because they'll um, approach the whale and then the local will get into the water and make sure the whale is like basically still enough that we can get in the water with it. And then he'll wave us in and then we'll calmly and slowly slip into the water. On our first day, our very first experience was with a mom and a calf, a baby whale. It's the most unreal experience. Like, I can't, it, you, we, I, I can't, it, you, we, I, I can't, it, you, you can't do it justice whatsoever. It's just the most beautiful thing. These creatures are huge. Just huge. <laughs> They're just massive. You're, it's like, you're humbled every time you see it. It's like you're looking, when you first see it, it's like you're looking at a plane underwater, like a massive, so like, big. bus. Um, Especially this relationship between like the mom and the mm -hmm. calf is just beautiful. Because the baby calf is big and then you see <laughs> the mom. And so with, with the baby calf and the mom, what, what they'll do is the mom will stay under for like 30 to 40 minutes. But the calf can only hold its breath like 5 to 10 minutes. And so the baby calf is going up and down a lot more. But when it's down, it kind of like cuddles under the under mom. The mom for safety and protection and it just like nestles perfectly under it. It's really beautiful. And then it'll come up for air. And the mom will just kind of stay there chilling deep below, maybe 50, 60 feet deep. And then when it comes up, it's one of the most exciting things ever because you see the mom's fins like just slowly start to move and that starts to move upward towards you. And then you just see this plane like 
coming to the surface so big you'd think it'd be scary but it's like so slow calm and peaceful that you just feel like out of body you don't even feel yeah. like you're in danger and all of a sudden this massive thing just surfaces you hear the huge blow hole It is just so cool. It's cool. But uh, all, like super calm and peaceful. But then our second day, we found out that there's something called a heat run. Not calm, not, not peaceful. Calm, <laughs> but awesome. So we Coolest had started off ever. swimming, or we had found two adult males, and we were kind of swimming with them, and then all of a sudden, another one joins, and all of a sudden, they find a female. And that's when it turns into this, like, competition race to get this female. <laughs> and they stayed pretty shallow. Up to the surface, you could see their, like, tracks. And even so, even when they're not like on the surface, they're like just below the surface yeah. because they're so big and so fast. You, you could still see, see this wake. It was the coolest thing ever. You see this wake and you know where they are, but you can't see them. So the boat will position you. You can see where they're going, and the boat will position you so you jump in right at the front of them. And the boat drops like right us in, their path. in, and all of a sudden we get in, and we're with nine <laughs> humpback whales, and they're nine just adult coming at whales. us. And they're like super aware of you. Kind of. I don't know if they are. No, they are. The, why? They just, they don't run into you. They don't try. You have to make sure you're like aware of the tail and stuff, but. <laughs> yeah. So they just come flying by you and. And then you jump back in the boat and you do it again. It's just like Black Ops style where they're like in the boat, in the boat. And then they'll zoom you to the front of their path. And then it's go, go, go. And, and you, you dump into out, the water. And then you, just these huge creatures just and coming you. And you see them like slamming into each other. Yeah, they're competing fighting. Competing for the female. The males are like blow their air out underwater. So you Sometimes see these they're streams like of bubbles. It's the yeah. coolest thing I've ever seen. So exciting. So A little cool. bit different than the mom and the calf. Yeah, the mom and calf was very peaceful. And but beautiful. even sometimes we did have an experience by an experience, I mean the best experience. Garrett's best experience of his entire life. With his best moment. the mom, a calf, and one male. An escort, as we call them. We get in the water, mom, calf, and escort, and we see them coming right at us. And I go kind of towards them to see them, and then I stop and enjoy it. But you'll kind of look and see Garrett veers off and tries to go with them. Basically takes off with him and then all of a sudden I had like turned to see him and he's just swimming off with these whales Just taking off My ready, new to, family. ready to go with his new family <laughs> and he sees The baby and he's just right next to the baby and then the mom is right below him and all of a sudden he touches the mother's tail and you see Garrett throw his arms out like he just scored a goal in soccer is really, <laughs> he had like a soccer celebration when he touched his tail. And you can just tell he's the happiest you've ever seen. You can hear me giggling in the video. <laughs> <laughs> but it really was like how he celebrates his like goals in soccer. I didn't even realize that I threw my arms up, but Basically, in soccer, I would always plan my celebrations, but it didn't matter what I planned because as soon as I scored, the excitement just came out of me and I just throw my arms out wide. And it was the same thing. I touched this whale, and before I knew it, I was just like, arms out wide. He was swimming. so giddy, and he was just kicking and kicking and kicking. And he wanted to run off into the sunset with these whales. And then I remembered I needed to come up for air. <laughs> That was Garrett's best moment of his life. This whole life. thing has been super special because we planned this starting a year ago. To prepare, we have signed up for free diving classes, underwater photography courses, like everything we could to make sure we would be like ready but also worthy of these special moments. Um, yeah, and it's been so fun, so cool. And the kids have really loved the Tonga life as well. Uh, it seems everywhere we go, somebody wants to hold Manila, whether it's on the bus at the market, in the taxi, at church, everywhere. At everywhere we go. People at the market, hold people just pick, hold him while I shop. And, and then uh, Dorothy's been so loving sweet. it. The house we're staying on has a cool dock where you can see fish and starfish just by looking off the edge of the dock. Really? The water here is crazy clear. 
It's beautiful. Just, yeah, most beautiful water ever. Really beautiful. Um, but yeah, today we're just, uh, right now we're just waiting for our boat. It should be here any minute. Uh, looking out at the marina. Yeah, beautiful place. And this is what it looks like.